people think Great God will come from the sky Take away everything. The confession of which I spoke With technology Isn't only restricted to Barbadian ears And the very government knew that in March, they would have to go to the international markets to borrow money to be able to pay wages and to service debt. Because the difference between the money the government earns and the money that it spends is simply too large that they can't bridge the gap. And they told us the night at 2 o'clock in the morning, they came to Parliament for Parliament to approve the largest ever borrowing in the history of this country. One billion dollars. Not million. B. Billion. And when they came, they told you that it was half to close the deficit and half was to refinance existing debt. Now which mad person would take debt? You owe somebody and you pay them 7% interest. You will pay them off by borrowing from somebody at 9% to pay off the person at 7? When the shopkeeper would even do that. And there was a company in the international market that their commentary started, call me crazy. But what is Barbados doing? Call me crazy. But why would Barbados borrow expensive money to pay off cheap debt? Well, call us crazy. Because why would a Minister of Finance announce that there was no confidence in his economy and then go to the international markets to borrow? It was folly. It was reckless. And it led to the international markets saying, we agree with you. You say there is no confidence, and we too say we do not have the confidence to buy your bonds. And for the first time ever, Barbados, 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 a country that was recognized as punching above its weight, a model. People say we don't want your money, we don't want your business, we don't want your bond. And that Minister of Finance had the gall to stand up in Parliament on Tuesday and tell you that it was because the US government shut down. You mean to tell me that the US government shut down affect Barbados more than it affect the US? You mean to tell me that he believes that all of us are so foolish that we don't understand that there are four years of mismanagement, five years, not being able to pay your debt. I ain't talking about even the large capital debt. I'm talking about your monthly bills, your salaries, the toilet paper, the pharmaceuticals, the spare parts. But you think that they don't know that we can't pay? And when Don Villainous will tell you that I or the rest of the Labour Party are talking Secretary. as if we want to share information with the international community, let me tell you this. Yes. They know more than you know. Oh, yes. And they know more than you know because you have a government that will not talk to you nor tell you the truth. And they know more than you know because we have a Caribbean Broadcasting Corporation that all of a sudden cannot tell the people of Barbados any news that is anti-government. And this country will have to decide whether 15 or 16 will hold to ransom almost 300,000 people. They ask you for time in February. They lied. They told you all was well. And within a month, Chris Sinclair came as Minister of Finance and told you 
that not only was the economy still stable, yes. not only was the medium term strategy on track, but that he was going to have a 600 million stimulus. Yes. Propaganda and false hope, yes. yet again. Yes. And in less, in less than a month, the governor of the central bank finally began to let the truth come out the side of his mouth. The full truth didn't come yet. It started to come out the side of his mouth. And on the Tuesday night, he issued a report saying that the medium term fiscal strategy was not on track. And it needed to be put back. And by the next morning, when he spoke, he told you, well, he didn't quite mean that. That it just needed some tweaking and some pushing and nudging. I do not know who spoke to him the Tuesday night. By the next week, the Minister of Finance did the unpardonable, and here in the loss of confidence begins. He went on radio in a live press conference and he told the people of this country there are problems. But I am going to wait four months before I bring you any medicine or prescription. I am going to bring a budget in August. And that was April. You know what happens when you don't get your medication on time. You know what happens when the ambulance does not turn up on time as we were reading only in today's Sunday Sun. How could a minister of finance tell you that he knew that something was fundamentally wrong but he would not come to you for another four months unless he was a five foot man in seven foot water out of his death. None of that in here. And then on the 27th of June a national consultation was called and on that occasion no longer any more talk about a 600 million stimulus no longer any talk about a medium term fiscal strategy that was dumped in the waste basket all of a sudden the country according to the Lyle world needed to make a 425 million dollar adjustment in eight months. Now people, you can't have a 400 million dollar problem in four months. You can't put on 40 pounds in four days. You can't even lose 40 pounds in four days as I've shown you. So that what we had was the beginning of the naked truth. The beginning of it. And the Prime Minister, out of place, made the worrying worse by telling you that the issue of devaluation would be something that he would fight against. Only to find out within less than a week, Donville, who might have been the opening batsman on this occasion, but wants to be the last man standing in the Democratic Labour Party, <laughs> told you, no, 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 no. Chris read the numbers wrong. And Clyde told you tonight that if you want him to read a number, write it in words. Don't give him the numbers. He told you, that it was a mistake, the land tax, solid waste tax. Because by then, many of you were doing the calculations. And $700, $700 per 100000 would mean not only that people all over Barbados and tenantry land who were not paying land taxes would have to start paying land taxes again, but that people, all levels of society, would be soaked with taxes at the very time when they have no money in their pockets to accommodate it. He didn't tell you that the Commission of Land Tax had no lawful authority to collect it. And the Minister of Finance had to have known that when he announced it. He didn't tell you that the Minister of 
finance gave you the wrong projection. It could only have been that he ain't talked to the land tax department. Because he said it would raise 49 million and we are now being told it would raise 173 million dollars from the backs of the agents if people could even afford to pay. And then, within less than a week, we had the Commission of Inland Revenue being forced to take issue and to correct the Minister of Finance again. One problem, when the Minister speaks in a budget, his words become law under the Provisional Collection of Taxes Act. When the Commissioner of Land, Commissioner of Inland Revenue speaks, or she takes an ad in the press, or runs an ad on radio, it is nothing more than she, me, or you, or even Gearbox from the dead talking. No lawful authority. So that any company in Barbados now that had to work out the consolidation tax for people coming up at the end of September thrown into total confusion. Is it 2% or 25 Is it 3% or 35 What they forgot to tell you too is that the Commission of Inland Revenue is to collect income taxes. There's no lawful authority to collect as consolidation tax. And that is why Erskine Sandiford in 1991, when he brought the stabilization tax, brought special legislation for it to be collected. But then you also saw that it is not only even on income. You know that if somebody give you a gift, somebody give you a cow, and tell you hold this, uh, hold this, I can't pay, hold this cow, that they have the power to come and value the cow and tax you for the cow. You know if they give you two turkeys for Christmas, they have the power to tax you for the two turkeys? Whatever the gift is in kind. And all this time, the Minister of Finance, not a single word. But then again, if you were in the lap of luxury in Disney World, you couldn't be engaged in these trivial matters.